Hello there, my name is Misa, and welcome back to Elden Ring. We are... Well, we're going to be heading to the Madness area. Area, that's what I'm going to call it. Which is... Uh, that away. Uh, then, probably to the main plateau. Because we've done pretty much everything here. Except for these jails. Because they're just like, eh, mini boss fights. Excuse me. And they're kind of interesting, but mostly not. Now. There's also. Excuse me, this divine tower, which has a jumping puzzle in it. Excuse me, or a parkour puzzle. puzzle. Uh, but that, I think, is going to be potentially next episode. I remember it's kind of annoying so we're gonna head over here if we can the hardest part is getting past this tower and you're gonna see in a little bit why so the path we're gonna take is we're basically gonna run up the right side and we're gonna bypass a whole bunch of bullshit that's right here and by bullshit you're gonna see what it, what I mean in a, in a little bit <laughs> Now, I've been doing a little bit of research on the Erd Tree, the, the Shadow of the Erd Tree, the DLC. And just to see, like, when should we play it until you have to wait to the end of the game. And it seems like there's no real... Oops, missed the one I was aiming for. There's no real... Point in the story when to go and do it, other than basically whenever you want. Uh, just to run by there. Uh, so now, oh, now we just want to do. Uh, they're coming after me. Down this. Uh, normally I'd once because we're probably gonna die. Normally I'd hit that and run all the way down because it's easier to run this way than it is the uh, the other way that I'm gonna show you in a second. And the reason we're up so high. Uh, let's see if we can get this without... There we go. Got ballistas. There's some catapults. People on horsebacks. It's a small, maybe... 15, 20 person army. Here. And it's not that dangerous. I say that. If you bob and weave, but... It's more annoying. Uh, and they're scattered and hidden kind of behind stuff, so... It's... It's really best to try and just avoid them. Which is why we're going this way. Now, over here... There is a... That's the main encampment. There's a... Site of Grace... Inside that building. Uh, but I think there's a... I want to say there's a tree sentinel guarding it. I don't remember if it's that one or not. Now... Get up. There might not be. I might just be thinking about the wrong... Place. So that's the tower. Once we get a certain distance from... Oh, hello. Distance from it, it's going to start doing this craziest thing. And that's the crazy thing. And we want to move when the crazy thing is not active. Because when it's active, our madness fills up. And as it fills up, if it tops out, we take massive damage. I mean, we took damage now when it was filling up. So the goal here is to get just past this opening. Uh, there should be... 
a sight of grace. There it is. Right here. So we want to get this. <laughs> because it's going to cut down our run time to get to that tower. So we're going to go from here. Basically straight towards that tower. Now, I don't remember... Alright, we, we might be able to get to those rocks. Before we die. And of course there's enemies all throughout these little areas. Now that's also why I'm using this shield and not a better one. Alright, one has a skill. is because we can use our wonderful skill that we have, which is the transient moonlight, I think it is. All right, we're closing the distance. Now the hard part is getting inside. Once you're in here, you can see that our meter isn't filling up anymore. That's because we're technically underneath it, so we can't get damaged. That big rat, its whole job is to force you out of here and pass like this lip. Once you're past that lip, you take madness damage, which is wonderful. Also, <laughs> uh, you want to be careful getting too close to the opening because guess what happens you take madness damage yay i think they patched it in before you could get all the way up as long as you didn't pass the yeah they patched it before it was as long as you didn't get up to the very top of the lip, you were fine. There we go. Alright, now that they're dead, they're gone. We never have to do that again. And I'm... Uh, frankly, I'm quite surprised we survived. Because that's really, really annoying. As long as you hit that side of grace over the lip here, it's so much easier. You will be drastically happier. And we got the Howl of Shibiri? Shibiri? Shibari? Whatever it was. Uh, I went the wrong way again. So the Frenzied Flame shrieks. Oh, it just the AOE it sounds like. Okay. Oh, but it builds up in you as well. Okay. Uh, let's drop. We get health. Now, we're not going to head to a 
back to the side of grace just yet. Because... Oh, hello. Did we solve your dungeon? Yes, because we can't activate it. Oh, we got a... Carrion Knight... A Carrion Knight. As in, warrior. Here, so let's... I think he spawns once as well. This puzzle. Uh, we have a gate that's locked, and may your addition be the light. So we need to do the gesture. Nope. Switch to your addition is that one. Or do we have to do it here? I don't remember where to do it. I think we do it here. And just let the animation play, then it breaks the seal. Oh no, we gotta wear... I remember. Oh, okay, okay, I, rem I remember. No, we need to wear a hat. A specific hat, because it's... Okay, I got it. I remember now. This took forever to figure out. And it's like, how do you figure this out without looking it up? It's like, oh, you have to just look at... No, I'm, I know, I know. It's... The twin one, I think it is? I think it's the, I think the, any of these, or... We'll, we'll take two. Actually. While we're here. Because there's no point in... We'll take all three, all four of them. And we just... Uh, I think it's the twin one. Then we do the... The animation. I think it was this one. The reason I'm not so sure is because... Let's do it here. Confirm. Yeah. Because I was wearing... I was wearing this one because it boosted uh, magic damage. And then it... I was like, okay. Well, your addition is just a... We have that emote, so... Why not? And the crown lit up. I was like, what? Huh? Ah, oh, giant ball. I knew it was a giant ball because... <laughs> what else are they going to spawn in here? Ascend me. Uh, all this for another memory stone. I think in the game itself, there's like 10 or 12 of them you can find. But you can only collect 8. 
or there's only a benefit to finding eight. After that, you just collect them to collect them. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Oh! No, this isn't a mem memory stone. I thought it was. Alright. Uh, the cannon one is kind of nice. You just essentially lob the, the chunk of magic forward. The bad thing about it is your character moves forward as you cast it. So if you're not careful, you really can walk off a ledge if you're not careful. So chests, let's put these back. Uh, this, I don't remember being too good. It's, it's kind of nice, but no thanks. Uh, this is nice, but it's more to harass enemies at long distance. So I think I'll put that away for now. We have... Oh, Shatter Earth and Rock Blaster are basically the same thing. Alright. Well, we're heading into the... Uh, village... Ridden with Madness, I think they said it was. Or Stricken with Madness. Now, there's no real threat here other than the soldiers that are straight ahead. You can see them through that shack. They, they're guarding the passageway up to the church, essentially. So we want to... I have you equipped. What do I have you equipped? I want you... Uh, that looks about right. Oh, hello. I see purple. The Lord of Frenzied Flame. We'll look into that in a second. Oh. How dare you? How dare you stop me, fence? That's a note. Beneath the land, oh, at the very bottom is the Lord of Frenzied Flame. The Three Finger who holds us all, who holds us in thrall. Yeah, that's for the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. Oh, hello. Oh, you have a slow attack. If I remember, if they hit you, they build up a madness. Oh, give me like 200 points, I think, for me. No? That was 70-something, even with the five times multiplier on them? Holy shit. Frenzy Flame Cookbook 1. Lovely. Uh, there's stuff scattered around. Most of it's useless, though. I mean, there's these. Yellow Amber. From chunks of people going crazy. Now, we... You don't have to eradicate all of them. I'm going to do as many of them as I can find because they're... Jump! Come on! You never skip leg day. Uh, because with my luck, they'll come back and try and kill us. The Eye of Yogo? Yoglef? Yog? Whatever it is. That only grows in areas that are rich in madness, essentially. Or... Places where it's cultivated, but typically in places full of madness. Level 1 rune, thank you. Hi, boys. Catch. Oh, good try, good try, good try. How about you? Do you catch? Ah, uh, almost. Oh, you all survived. Oh! You are fl frenzied. So that's one of the skills that we have now. Nope. Ah. I, th I think he hit me and with the cuckoo shard and then up oh, we move back too far. And then it also broke and did more damage to us. 
I mean, as far as getting your money's worth, that's a kind of a good strategy. Oh, I think that makes enemies want to attack us, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes people want to attack us. I think we have another one that does the exact same thing. So if you really want to go tanky, you can. I hear you, rat. No. Now there's stuff up on the walls. I think, yeah, right there at the tip of our hat. There's stuff there and the other side of the wall. And I think on this wall, is there anything? Maybe not on that wall. They love to hide stuff on walls. But what we're, what we want, or is what we're after, excuse me. Uh, when we get past that guy praying, we're gonna be invaded. So we wanna deal with that first before we do anything else. And there should be a side of grace up at that church. Uh, what do you say? Ah, uh, Lord Vike, it seems you were no lord after all. Where is he? Where's our true lord, our lord of the frenzied flame? We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Take us, lord, blah, blah, blah. All right, where are you? Come on. There we go. No? Camera? What are you doing? Wow, you were so much easier. Alright, so we got the fingerprint grape, which, uh, I forget her name, the sightless maiden wants. We also got his war spear, which is... I think it's actually kind of good, if I remember. Causes madness. Uh, and he has a unique skill. Imbues the spear with a frenzied flame and leap forward, plunging into the ground, setting off a maddening explosion. Increases, inflicts madness on the user as well as the people in front. Deadly. Grab you. Thank you. And this is the other dead f uh, finger maiden. So for uh, Vera's quest, Vera, the guy in white, the white mask essentially, uh, his quest about dipping the cloth in blood of, of a finger maiden, uh, you can come here. And do it, and you can also get all of her outfit. Or you can do what we did go to the four belfries and head to the uh, temple of, or excuse me, temple of anticipation? Whatever it is, the anticipation? Uh, there's another dead finger maiden in here that I think the implication was she was supposed to meet us, but we weren't fast enough or something. I don't remember. But we did that since this is a Church of America. Let's see if Mal if she wants to talk. I didn't check, no. Sometimes, uh... Melania? Our finger maiden, or the one that can act as a finger maiden, she'll only talk to us if it's the first time at a spot. If it's more than the first time, she won't speak with us. my ice. Alright, so we have a fast travel point up here so we don't have to run through the village again. Giant rats? What are you? 
Oh, cool. Another frenzy attack. So we'll take stone sword key. Is there anything on that wall? No, okay. I know there's something right beneath us though. Beneath us though. Right down here. Nice thing about that was it night comet is it has piercing on it so it goes through multiple enemies I think that's it for this village oh we could get back out okay I didn't think there was actually a way around it. I thought it was a, once you drop down, you're down. All right, well, that actually, oh, we're technically in combat. Oh, that guy saw us. Okay, I see. All right, well, y'all have fun with that. We're just gonna mosey on over here. Hi. Bye. Hi. Is there anything here? I don't think there's anything up there. That'd be kind of a crazy ask to pl ask players to jump up on these posts. Well done. Jumped off the wrong side. Sometimes there's stuff up in those places, but most of the time there's not. We're coming back up here because we take an immediate left where we killed that scarab. There may be other stuff over there. I don't remember. Other than a lot of en uh, enemies. There's a rat. There's you. Drop down. Oh, plant. Okay, we got a graveyard. Amber. around here of interest besides these plant oh plants let's check the wall sometimes there might be a dungeon you never know all right so no there's not at least not that I see all right go oh. Solves that issue or that idea. Let's get on out of there. Now, is there anything over here since we're clearing the spot? We might as well do both sides. Ooh, that's, that's far, far down to our death. I think we'll try to get down there. Or try to get back down there. That's the... Alright, let's just... We'll shortcut it. A little bit. A wee bit. A tiny bit. Slightly. Okay. This way. So yeah, I was thinking that we go into the DLC 
Uh, once we... Get... Once we beat the... Well, essentially... The boss of the capital. There's technically like three bosses in the capital. Like one, two, actually there's probably like four in the capital. But after we beat the main one that's guarding the Erd tree, I think we'll head off to start the DLC. Which requires us to, to defeat two optional bosses. Actually, no, we need to do more than that. Forgot. Because we need to defeat uh, Radon and Moog. Which we can probably take out Moog right now. But. Where's the fun in that? Then. No, I don't see a guy. Okay. Then we need to head into Nakron, uh, which is the city that uh, Rani, 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 however you pronounce it, uh, wanted us to go find for her because. Nope, not that one. There we go. Uh, because she needs a special item from there. What we want from there is one of the best summons in the game. Which is why we're going to head to there. Then after we get that, we can essentially just head off to the DLC. Well, actually... Nah. Yeah, we should probably just head off to the DLC after that. Or should we complete Rani's quest? I'm, I'm debating. Because her quest is very... Will take us over a lot of spots. And it's incredibly annoying to do. In that you have to go a lot of places. But it gets you a lot of XP and reveals a lot of the world. So let's see. What do we get here? Ah, talking... Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, the Earth Tree governs all. The choice is thine. Become one with the Order, or divest thyself of it to wallow at the fringes, a powerless upstart. Okay. Interesting. Concerning, but interesting. Uh, this ghost just tells, says, hey, there's a secret way to get in here. Or to get... I don't think we can drop down. I think that's, that's a death. I think I tried that before. Yeah, it looks like it's death. So... I guess we should head up. The Grand Lift of Dectus. Uh, there's nothing in here. I've searched the entire thing. There's nothing that I can find unless it's a hidden spot. So we found two of the four medallion pieces. Uh, two for the actual Lift of De uh, Dectus medallion, I think it is. And one half of the secret medallion, which opens up the op an optional boss. So, I guess we'll head to the to the Altus Plateau and unlock a fast travel. Also, this is some elevator shit right here.
yeah, show this to like your engineer or architect friend. Say, hey, can you design this for my house? I want one of these in there. I think this also gives us access to one of, if not the best armor in the game. If we can survive it. Ah. The new area. The new area where we'll get killed constantly. Now, these giant golem things, they will kill you because they don't care. <laughs> also, there's Raya. Raya, you're. My, our friend, she gave us the invitation to Volcano Matter. But, excuse me, before we do that, there should be a side of grace nearby. There it is. We're gonna go hit, touch that. So that we have a fast travel point here. Also, you got these standards that are all ghostly. Looks fucking awesome. Uh, that's Mount Glimmer, I think it is. And Volcano Manor is uh, that away. I think we can. Oh, if I get a, the right angle, we can jump up there. had to look for a stone that's high enough. Hello. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Give Let's me go. your hand. I will pray. That you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. And by doing her little side quest back in Lunaria? Lunaria of the Lakes? Uh, we basically fast travel here now. Yay! So we don't have to fight all the way. Like, let's touch this, and I'll show you where we're at and where we were. So, that's where we are. Uh, that's where we were. So, we traveled all that way. Fairly quick and easily. Uh, before we talk to them, we also... Uh, let's see if we can do this. If I remember correctly... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be attacked because why not? Oh, it's already used the pinwheel. Gaz's will, which is really kind of cool, and it's great at like stunning enemies. Uh, torture, but it's heavy. It's almost twenty fucking pounds. Holy shit! But that co that blood buildup is fantastic. This thing, if you can wield it correctly, oh god, you do huge amounts of fucking damage. Uh, downside is that it doesn't scale well, but it's great if you can get it to, uh, you can actually stun lock enemies with it, which is really nice, because every tooth on it or every other tooth on it will basically has a chance to stun, and it just spins around constantly really fast, 
and it's really really nice all right well i think that that's gonna do it for this episode we made it to volcano manor uh and uh, if we go back outside you can kind of see what it's like up here uh, that's a troll, don't worry. It's not exactly welcoming, and it's not... Uh, you get this feeling that it's not that much of a good spot or place to be at. Like, these aren't good people, but... That's something we'll find out uh, in a later episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye bye